she wanted me to have a better life than she had, but I also think her approach was very unhealthy and informed by her own lack of self-work. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at 10 times TV shows ruined people's lives. How did you land a rock star like that? Timing, darling, it's all about timing. For this list, we'll be looking at the most egregious times a television program destroyed a person's career, livelihood, or well-being. Trigger warning, there are discussions of sensitive topics ahead. What's the most shocking fallout from a TV show you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments below. Heidi Montag, The Hills. As it turns out, starring in a controversial reality series has its drawbacks. I almost died after my procedure. You know, I had too much Demerol, like Michael Jackson did. For Heidi Montag, that meant a never-ending news cycle of scandal and controversy. Not just on her as a person, but on her body, too. Eventually, the scrutiny pressured the 23-year-old to undergo a staggering 10 cosmetic procedures in a single day. I had my ears pinned back. I had injections in my lips. I had my chin shaved down. Um, I had my breasts redone and my back shaped. The fallout from these procedures caused a massive rift between Montag and her mother. This comes after Montag's mean girl persona on the show had already cost her the relationship with her best friend. With all that being said, it's no surprise to hear that Montag doesn't have many nice things to say about her time on the hills. The industry in general has wanted to like outcast me and make me negative and I'm like, is Lauren Conrad still paying you all? Like what is going on? <laughs> Constance Wu, fresh off the boat. In a single ill-advised tweet, Constance Wu rocked the boat in all the wrong ways. After spending five seasons as the Huang family matriarch, she was clearly ready to move on. Louis, you didn't tell me Allison was Chinese. This is the only surprise you've ever given me that I've liked. So when Fresh got renewed for a sixth go around, Wu took to Twitter to vent her frustrations. To put it lightly, the internet did not take it well. Wu faced an onslaught of backlash ranging from fan disappointment to calling her ungrateful to even deeming her a quote unquote blight on the Chinese American community. What was it that cut so deep for you? She basically said I had become a blight on the Asian American community. Unable to cope, Wu attempted to take her own life back in 2019. Luckily, she has since prioritized her mental health and has slowly begun to step back into the limelight. Charles O'Maney, The Real Housewives of DC. As a well-respected photojournalist, Charles O'Maney spent most of his career behind the camera rather than in front of it. His wife, Kat, though, she was a different story. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Kat allegedly convinced him to star in the DC spinoff of Real Housewives. Suddenly, it wasn't just Charles O'Maney's work making the news. I moved out to Washington to join my childhood sweetheart, Charles. Perfect. Head up slightly, darling. It was reports on the latest episodes, editorials on he and Kat's divorce, and his wife's rumored fling with Prince Harry. Just like that, O'Maney lost his anonymity, and with it, the chance of being an effective journalist, at least in Washington. That is so his hard day in the office cool. is being super cool, sitting in the back of stretch limo with the vice president. To this day, the now divorced photographer still credits the show as his biggest regret. And I know you're so humble and modest about your work, but I'm not. Carly Red, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. On paper, starring in a hit reality franchise screams breakout role, but in this case, it did the exact opposite. Carly Red's scene-stealing work in Love & Hip Hop typecast her as anything but a serious actress. We weren't doing this the day that I asked her the question. Right, okay. Bitch, because I have to go home and think about yeah, it. Yeah, what yeah, question yeah. that you asked me, because I didn't see one. You had to go home and think about it. Yeah, if you had a problem with it, you would have kept the real when you first saw you know me. It's doubly ironic since, by her own account, Red only joined the show in the first place to get her foot in the door. And yet, since then, she struggled to command respect from certain directors and casting agents. At this point, Red's even resorted to auditioning under a pseudonym. I'm sorry, what? You blaming me for this? While her acting career is far from flatlining, you can't help but wonder what could have been had she never joined Love & Hip Hop. Margaret Cho, All-American Girl. On one hand, this groundbreaking sitcom marked one of the very first primetime series to focus on an Asian-American family. You cannot wear that for a traditional boy. Fine, what do you want me to wear? On the other, it's also perpetuated many harmful and flat-out offensive stereotypes. By Cho's recollection, the network flip-flopped on whether she was too Asian or too overweight. Is that all you're eating? Yeah, I'm on a diet. You don't need to lose weight. Maybe you're right. I don't think I have a fat body, I just have a really big head. <laughs> Although All-American Girl only lasted one short season, Cho developed alcohol and substance use disorder, which would persist for much longer. But for a lot of conservative Koreans, it was really, um, it was really treacherous. It took years to overcome, but soon enough, she would regain ownership of her career. Nowadays, she's rightfully taken her place among the best comedic talents of the generation. Hasta la vista, baby. 
Charles Rocket and the rest of the cast, Saturday Night Live. Change is hard, especially in Hollywood. So when NBC retooled this live show with a brand spanking new cast, you could say there was some trepidation, especially for Charles Rocket, who was pitched as a mashup of Bill Murray and Chevy Chase. Underground Manhattan, New York City, and we're in the subways with our host, Charlene Tilton. Despite some worthwhile segments here and there, audiences agreed that this updated cast simply couldn't hold the candle to the original. Charles Rocket with Charlene Tilton in New York in the subways. We'll see you again some other time. Ratings fell to worrying lows, and when Rocket let an F-bomb slip on air, he and most of the new cast were finally kicked to the curb. Charlie, how are you feeling now after you've been shot? Oh man, it's the first time I've ever been shot in my life. I'd like to know who <laughs> that blunder never truly left Rocket's image. He mainly popped up in bit parts or supporting roles until he tragically took his own life in 2005. Kelly McGee, Extreme Makeover. Misguided or not, this reality show gave Delise Williams the chance to be confident in her appearance for the first time. She auditioned, passed their medical exams, and finally flew out to Los Angeles for her life-changing cosmetic surgery. But it never happened. Out of nowhere, the producers backtracked on Williams' involvement and sent her home more ashamed than ever before. Still, no one took it harder than her sister, Kelly McGee. The show had goaded her into making several disparaging remarks about Williams' appearance. Despite the circumstances, McGee was never able to overcome the crippling guilt and later died of an overdose in 2004. Williams raised the two children she left behind. Dick York, Bewitched Long before he took up the mantle of Darren Stevens, actor Dick York suffered a debilitating back injury from the film They Came to Cordora. For several years, Bewitched accommodated his limitations with clever blocking and frequent rewrites. You're a what? <laughs> I'm a witch. But unfortunately, all it did was prove that York wasn't cut out to be a leading man anymore. After he collapsed on set during season five, York left the show for good to focus on his recovery. It took a battle with opioid use disorder, but eventually he tried to stage a comeback. Alas, his career had already fizzled. I have yet to see a table lighter that works. Just once, I would like to see. <laughs> While he only ever booked two roles post Bewitched, York maintained high spirits up until his death in 1992. Gia Alamond, The Bachelor. There's no happily ever after in this story. G, wake up. Don't go to sleep. I'll be there in 12 hours. Back in 2010, Gia Alamond rose to fame as a prominent contestant on the 14th season of The Bachelor. While she didn't walk out with a ring on her finger, she did earn a whole lot of publicity, and not all of it was the good kind. I, I was surprised that he sent you home. You must have been really surprised. You know, uh, I was surprised because I finally like took that extra step and I opened up to him. The pressure on Alamond only grew as time went on, especially when she entered a tumultuous relationship with NBA player Ryan Anderson. Eventually, it got to be too much. On August 12, 2013, Alamond attempted to take her own life. Two days later, another attempt would result in her tragic passing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Jeanette McCurdy, iCarly, and Sam and Cat. You could fill a whole book with the vile things that went on behind the scenes of this Nickelodeon franchise. Hey, just because our show wasn't reviewed on Nevelocity doesn't mean it's not cool. In fact, Jeanette McCurdy did, and some of it is almost too harrowing to repeat. Whether it was at home or on set, it's clear that the trauma she endured had a major impact on her physical and emotional well-being. McCurdy isn't the only one with conflicted memories, though. While not nearly as severe, her co-star Noah Monk is still treated as the butt of fan jokes because of his work as the dopey character Gibby. Gibster, what up, little weirdo? <laughs> not much. Neither actor returned for the iCarly reboot in 2021, and we don't blame them. Will you just please let us out of here? 